Seattle is the largest city in the Pacific Northwest, located between Puget Sound, an inlet of the Pacific Ocean, and Lake Washington. From the snow-capped peaks to the water, Seattle is just a naturally beautiful place. And located in the heart of Seattle is Flying Fish Restaurant. So Bruce, the next dish we're gonna make is a great winter squash gnocchi. And this time of year, we have got a lot of winter squash. Uh, today, we're gonna to use the red curry. Mm -hmm. So the first thing we do is to cut it in half and take the seeds out. It's a little bit tough, but definitely worth the effort. Look at that beautiful orange center. Woo, just scrape that out, huh? Mm -hmm. These seeds can be roasted just like a pumpkin seed. They sure could. Wow. Yeah, you gotta really be careful with these dry squashes. They are hard. We'll put it on the baking pan. Awesome. So now we put a little bit of olive oil on the squashes. You can squish it around there if you don't mind. You bet. <laughs> Groovy. And then we just put a little uh, salt and pepper on them for flavor. A little black pepper. So, uh -huh. maybe 40 minutes? Okay, yeah, I think so. So in we go, about 45 minutes. So the other thing we're going to put in the gnocchi is potato, which is traditionally what gnocchi are made with. We're just adding some squash to it this time. So this is just a baking potato. We only need one, and we're just going to stick it in there at the same temperature. Perfect. I think it's been uh, about 40 minutes. We should probably get the squash out. Let's see them. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Dried a little bit, but still moist. Oh, yeah. So now we're just going to um, peel the skin off or just scrape it kind of right off the skin there. There, easy squeezy. Gorgeous. All right. This is not something from outer space. This is a food mill. So the first thing we have to do before we rice it is we got to peel this potato, get the peel off. This will go right in. Right in, yeah. So now we're going to uh, run the potato through the food mill yeah. first. See, it's pressing it, and it's just kind of coming out the bottom there. It's just pressing it through the hole. Cool. Roasted squash, and put that in there. Fantastic. A little salt, a little pepper. And we're going to put in one egg. So now I'm going to put some flour in there. And it's about 3 quarters of a cup, but um, I'm going to use my hand so I can feel it, OK? And that's about it. See, we've got a dough that's now holding together. And I'll just take a little bit. You like to do this? Yeah, I love rolling. Get your hands a little floury. Mm-hmm. And uh, just give me a little snake there, a little roll. Then we're just going to cut them into... Uh, like bite-sized chunks? Yeah, about one inch. So the next step is, as you said, roll them with a fork. Okay. And I usually do it kind of uh, on the diagonal a little bit, get those guys from corner to corner. So before we boil the gnocchi, which is since kind of a pasta or a dumpling, we do have to boil it. Before we boil it, we're going to get the sauce going because we want to be able to come right out of the pan and into the sauce. We're going to brown the butter, pop that in there. All of that? Yeah, I think that'll be fine. OK. And then we've got a little bit of sage here. Not in the a case lot. of sage, it actually has more flavor as a fresh herb, I think, than as dried sage. I'm going to move this butter off to the side now. It looks like it's done. We don't want it to burn. Perfect. So now the next step is we just put them in the boiling water. Got a rolling boil here, a little salt, right? I'm trying to get them all in at the same time. Yeah. And as they float, that means they're ready. So now they've all come up to the top, and they're ready to come out. They actually expand a little, too. Yep. We'll just uh, drain them out, and we'll put them right into the sauce. Ah, gorgeous looking. Ah, beautiful. Nice. So now we'll just, uh, just go right into the bowl. And then I'll follow it up with a little grated Parmesan. I'm going to put some crispy sage leaves on here. Cool. Now, these have been crisped in just hot oil? Just hot oil, yeah. And there you go. Oh, what a beautiful dish. So that's our winter squash gnocchi with sage and brown butter. Awesome. Don't be afraid of squash. We love our squash. The Hippie Gourmet is brought to you by the Hippie Gourmet's Quick and Simple Cookbook for Healthy Eating, 
available in stores wherever books are sold.